guys, welcome back. Uh, I've had a pretty good weekend. I uh, just wanted to just get on here and talk for a minute. You know, uh, went and had a workout, uh, went and used the sauna after our workout with a friend. I was in there for almost 45 minutes. I tried to push myself a little bit and I was just meditating throughout my entire duration uh, throughout the uh, throughout the sauna, being in there for a good 45, about 45 minutes. And the only time I got out was maybe to use the bathroom. But guys, if you can get into a sauna at your gym, I would highly encourage it. It is one of the best things you can do uh, for after a workout. It's one of the best uh, cleanses that you can do for your body. It, it really helps out a lot. And uh, so it's so far, it's made for a good weekend. Um, I also ended up getting my hair cut a little bit, get it trim, uh, getting it trimmed up, getting it cleaned up. I was starting to get a little too raggedy in the back, but I still left it lengthwise because I still want to grow it out. I want to get it long for the winter. Um, just taking it in stages, you know, just like we all do in life, right? I'm drinking my coffee. A little bit of cinnamon. Had some cream in it earlier after my like third cup. So I'm also working on some fresh almond butter that I cooked up, made for myself. My Vitamix. Didn't get it completely pulverized to get the oils out, but I got just enough for the consistency. So this has been my breakfast for most of the day. Combined it with, uh, mixed it with coconut oil, and I threw in some cinnamon in there for some taste. I got some cacao powder in there too as well. And then just a handful of raw, raw almonds, but yeah. Okay, so today, you guys, I wanted to read something out of the book Iron John by Robert Bly. You guys can see this. This has been a great book. Uh, it's actually been taking me a while to read it because there's just been so much that I've been able to catch. And it just stops me in my tracks and I get, grab up my highlighter and I just highlight that. And uh, funny enough, I actually wanted to try and do a series on this book because there's just so much that I'm getting out of this book about um, about the identity of men, the folklore, mythology, and even archetype, uh, archetypical discussions about men and masculinity, and I really like it a lot. Um, I think it's a phenomenal book. You guys should definitely pick this up, Iron John by Robert Bly. Great book. Great book. So today what I wanted to read was uh, a section called The Alchemist's Sequence. The alchemists, Egyptian or European, have the same three colors, but begin with black. First is the black of the Primera Materia, the black of lead, the black of matter, utterly untouched by spirit or by consciousness. They want the black to deepen. The black beast must come forward, the old texts say, before our growth starts. Beauty in the beast says that as well. In the second stage, the black beast whitens as the horizon before dawn slowly whitens. White here stands for a purification that is going on. Imagination, spirit, and humor are developing. But in the state of whiteness, one does not live in the true sense of the word. It is a sort of abstract, ideal state. In order to make it come alive, it must have blood. It must have what the alchemists call the rubido, the redness of life. That's a quote by Carl Jung. The alchemist's third stage is the red of the rising sun. Now sulfur appears, flaring up, passion. This is the path of men and women who want increased personality, more spirit, occult knowledge, who want spiritual lead to turn into spiritual gold. It begins maybe at 45, not at birth. We walk the lead gold path at the same time we walk the life death road. So I just thought that, that was a really good section. There's plenty of other good sections that I want to share with you guys, maybe in the future. Iron John by Robert Bly. Uh... I really liked Carl Jung's quote and take on it, talking about the black, the white, and the red. You know, it's, um, the alchemist sequence really resonates with the creativity of men and what we build in this life for ourselves, for our families, um, even people that we love, and even people that are, that you're not related to, that you love with a passion can coincide as families too. So that could be, you know, both. But also, it's 
getting out your message to the world. You know, and I think it's those three things that really tie into the alchemist sequence. You know, what we build as men, what we create here in this world, in this time that we have here on earth as men, is what will really fulfill and satisfy us. And that's that's one trait of masculinity. It's it's about breaking through a barrier. It's about breaking through barriers and building something and having leadership, but also taking the risks, you know, facing your fears, going to the danger of maybe going broke because you don't have a nine to five, but you're taking a risk to make a business. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a metaphor allegory. So that's really the idea, I think, coming from the alchemist sequence. And that's what I got. So I hope you guys like that quote by Carl Jung. Really enjoyed it myself, but didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to get an upload today. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, whatever you guys are doing, whatever your dream is, let the red rise like the sun, like the passion. Let your passion guide you. So just some words of wisdom from Robert Bly. All right. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.